Hey there today. Today's video is called Intuition Isn't Always Right. If you like our videos, you want to donate cash symbol at Cash App, you can make a donation like lots of other people already have, cash symbol Hector Salva, or via PayPal help at mysticalwork.com. If you like the video, click like, go ahead and subscribe to this channel to learn lots more on spiritual spirituality and spiritual information. So today's topic is intuition isn't always right. Before I get into that, also we're in March 2021. It, we're currently doing a special sale on a cleansing kit. If you're interested in that, you can email us help at mysticalwork.com or if you have me on the social medias where I'm at Hungan Hector, you can DM me and we can get you that information. So the reason why intuition isn't always right is because it isn't always intuition. A lot of things get mistaken for intuition, which actually aren't intuition at all. And that's one of the reasons why people often have a difficult time trusting their intuition, because they've trusted information before that was not intuitive. And it happens to anyone who's been practicing or living on the intuitive path, although a lot of people don't like to admit it. It happens. It's normal. It's very quite normal because there's a number of other blockages and other influences or other voices that will be trying to communicate their messages to you. And it takes time to clear this out so that you can clear out the space for the intuition to actually come through. Throughout the course of life, okay, many agencies or groups in the world, be it religious, government, or medical, have worked to separate you from your intuition and your intuitive guidance and cause confusion in that. Everyone has intuition, but not everyone is, ha, is aligned or connected with their intuition. And this is a normal thing that happens. And it's not really your fault. If this is going on with you, it's not your fault. And it's not your fault because uh, the whole systems are set up to cut you away from your intuition so that you can be more easily manipulated and controlled by society at large for what they need you for. So what has to happen in order for intuition to start to actually work is that those blockages and those voices, all of that needs to be cleared. And this is usually done with a proper spiritual worker who knows how to do this with you, right? Then after that, an alignment needs to occur where you get aligned with, the intu with your intuition. From that point, then actual trust in the intuition can be built and knowing the difference between intuition and non-intuition, right? There's lots of false sources of information that will come in and can act as the intuition. And this is the reason why intuition will then be off. It's because it's actually not intuition at all, but it's actually other sources of information which you mislabel as intuition. And I hope that this has clarified for you something and has helped you in getting like an aha moment as to why certain things are the way that they are. And if you need help and you would like to get in alignment with your intuition so that you're living successfully. Because what does intuition do for you? It guides you down the path towards your success. So if you would like that, go ahead and reach out to us, help at mysticalwork.com, where you can reach out to, to me and we can work with you and start getting you on the path to working with your intuition. It's one of the keys to success. So many blessings to all of you. If you like the video, go ahead and click like, go ahead and click a thumbs up, subscribe if you like the channel. Many blessings to all of you. Again, if you would like to make a donation, cash app, cash symbol Hector Salva, 
or help at mysticalwork.com via PayPal. And many blessings to all of you. Keep the faith.